So this is it. This is how I die. Wait, I'm alive? How is this possible? I think I just slipped through that lava and now I'm unharmed. Thank goodness for these barrier blocks too. You know, your survival wasn't a coincidence, Plaza. My name is Laguanda, the god of Alfredo. I am the leader of all parkour gods and thus the most powerful of all. I saw great potential in you, Plaza. Although I knew you would fail near the end of the course. Your ability to learn and put yourself then the most has earned my respect. Please come with me into parkour heavens. The parkour what? Haha. <laughs> the parkour heavens is the name of the area where all of us parkour gods reside. It's actually located 500 blocks above parkour city. Far out of reach of the common folks. So what's the difference between this place and parkour city? 900 years ago, my brothers and I knew we need a sacred place to practice our craft of parkour. During those times, we were under constant attack from Herobrine's army. The attacks were often extremely deadly, resulting in the loss of my dear brother, Luquini. After he was taken from us so viciously, we knew we needed a place to ourselves that would be far out the reach of any potential threats. Thus, me and my two remaining brothers, Lasagna and Lashonda, created Parkour Heavens. Within the center of Parkour Heavens is a great tower of Ravel, the holy place in which completes their training to be a Parkour God. Plaza, at once you must come with me to Parkour Heavens and meet my brothers. After gaining their approval, you must be taken to the Great Tower of Ravioli and will be put through many tests that I truly believe you have the potential to pass. Then and only you will become a parkour god and join my brother and I and probably get a new name. How about Laza? I think I'll pass on a new name, but let's do it. I always dreamed of reaching the parkour heavens. I used to be unsure if this was even a real place. I can't believe this. Out of all the people that made it to parkour heaven, I was the one who did it. But where is Laguanda taking me? They said something about two other gods, but why is he taking me here? I hope it's not something bad. Okay, brothers, meet Plaza. He has recently made it through the parkour prison course, which is impossible to beat. Wait, it was impossible? I see a very talented god within him. Shall we discuss if he can stay here or not? Are you serious? We haven't discussed not saving any more of these strangers. They're dangerous to our society. He has no business being here. They must go back at once. Dear brother, you must understand I sense something different with Plaza. His determination and dedication of mastering parkour rivals is extremely rare. I think including him into the parkour heavens is what Liguini would have wanted. I still have my doubts. I'll tell you what. Both Lasagna and I will represent the challenge to Plaza. If he's able to complete our challenges and survives, we can take him to the Great Tower of Ravioli to begin his transformation. What? Was all that for nothing? Was risking going behind bars for my entire life not enough for them? Do they not accept me or something? I just passed a parkour course that nobody has ever passed. If that wasn't hard enough, then I'm guessing these challenges that they are about to give me is much harder. After everything that I went through last time, I really can't imagine how worse it could get around this time. And if they are really looking to give me even a more difficult challenge. I really don't know if I'm going to survive here. Uh, excuse me, what will happen to me if I'm unable to complete these challenges? Oh, nothing much. You will just be sent back to prison for the rest of your life while my brothers and I cast beams of lightning down on you for all of eternity. No big deal. Things just got a lot worse. So much worse. Once again, I have no choice other than to complete these challenges and win the approval of the three brothers. I can't imagine it now. The four brothers of parkour heaven I can be a god right alongside of these guys. It would really be amazing if I could make it. The four of us could live in peace with no threat of being locked in parkour prison or falling into my demise in any given second. I cannot afford to fail here. Plaza, are you ready to take on my challenge? I'm ready. Plaza, I will challenge you to a parkour duel. We will each have one stack of blocks given to us. We will then take turns building the most difficult jumps for each other to complete. Does this make sense to you? I think so. Allow me to demonstrate. Typically, four block jumps are considered one of the hardest jumps for regular players to complete. However, if you're trying to be a parkour god, consider this me going easy on you. Oh yeah, I heard about this game before. Back in school, they talked about this being played with the person named Evbo or something. I don't remember too much since that was years ago, but I think I remember how to play this. I'm really trying my best to act confident in front of these parkour gods. But if I'm being honest, I'm not even certain I could land this four block jump. How embarrassing would that be to come along all all this way to fail a simple four block jump? I cannot let this happen. All right, here goes nothing. Not bad, kid. Let's see what you've got for me. This is where I really need to think. What 
jump can I create that will be certain to trip up this parkour god? Does such a jump even exist? I kinda doubt it does. I have a feeling that no matter what I put together, he will easily complete my jump and make a mockery out of me. If he started with only a 4 block jump, I need to do something much more difficult. Uh, wait, I have an idea! A Neo jump. One of the hardest jumps in Minecraft. Only the most skilled parkourers can land a single Neo jump. Jumping around these blocks are incredibly difficult. And maybe this will be how I win the parkour duel. Alright, hopefully you don't fail this. Haha, <laughs> what a sad attempt. Thinking I'd be tripped up by a simple Neo. Believe it or not, I've done 10 block Neos while being blindfolded and barefoot. Wait, what? How? If this guy can do all that, what can I possibly build that would trip him up? This is going to be a lot harder than I have possibly even imagined. Alright, since it's my turn, I get to make you do anything I want you to do. So I'm going to build a triple Neo jump. Only the top gods can complete this jump out of the thousands of years I've lived here. I've not seen one person do this other than us three gods. What? This isn't fair at all. I know this challenge is supposed to be super difficult, but what draws the line between difficult and straight up impossible? I know for a fact I can't do this. I'm in so much trouble. What do I do? If I miss a jump, I'm going back to prison. I did that whole parkour course just to lose? Do I run away? No, I can't do that. They're literally gods. Well, I must accept my fate of going back to prison. It was fun seeing the parkour heavens, though. Well, here goes nothing and jump. So that's it, huh? Back to prison for me. A life of infinite torture because your brother gave me an impossible jump. Do you not know the rules of the game, Plaza? Every player begins with three lives. You only lost your first life. It's too early for you to give up, my friend. Keep going. Wait, this changes everything. And after seeing the jump I failed, I've realized something. It looks like we're allowed to play dirty. I am definitely going to lose one of my lives here. But knowing this now, I may be able to create a jump that would be physically impossible for him to land. What about a five block jump? I don't think any player, even a Minecraft god, is capable of landing something like that. This may very well work in taking his first life. I gotta act fast. So you think you could do this one? A four block jump? That's easy. Rookie material. Watch and learn, young one. What? I- I'm so embarrassed. A four block jump? How could I fail a four block jump as a parkour god? Wait, I don't think he realized I built a five block jump. If he's not paying close attention to what I'm building, I have to use this to my advantage. Is there a chance I could really win this challenge after all? Don't get too cocky. You do understand you are versing a parkour god, right? So don't get your hopes up now. I will make you do a nice three block jump. What? A three block jump? Is he just being nice or something? I can easily make a three block jump. I did things that was much harder in the parkour prison course. But you must do it with a 360 in the middle of it. If you do not complete a 360 in the middle of the jump, you will lose a life and you will be down to your final life. He's starting to sound overly confident, which I don't like at all. But he is right. This is quite tough. I never done a 360 jump at all. How am I supposed to do a 360 three block jump? It's fine. I got this. I'm just gonna run up and do it. And go! 360! Yes, I did it! I cannot believe I just did that. That. Still not impressed. If I'm being honest, I was nearly certain you were gonna fail right there. Well, what matters is that I made it, and it looks like I've saved one of my lives. If I can build something that will trip him up again, I will be at a massive advantage. I think the key is to make something impossible without it looking too absurd. That seemed to do the trick last time, but hmm, what could I do this time around? Perhaps a harder Neo? Wait, I got it. What if I just do the exact same thing he did to me, but double it? So instead of a 360 jump this will be a 720 jump looks like it's your turn again since you wanted me to do a 360 jump i challenge you to land a 720 jump that's two full circles before landing the jump that's it i must say i was hoping you'd put up more of a fight plaza wait what does he mean by that is he saying that he could actually do this there's no way i could believe it how he did that with such ease but how i barely was able to land that 360 jump he's really putting up a good fight here it almost feels like everything i do is it enough to affect him and cause him to fall? Now it's my turn, Plaza. I will create something unique just for you. I've summoned this massive tower and you have to jump off that right into this one block of water. If you miss, you will lose a life. So he wants me to basically fail is what I'm hearing. But maybe there's a chance I could land in this one block of water and survive?
alive and if i do that means i still have another chance to do something the parkour god can't physically do and possibly get an advantage over him okay just don't think about it all you need to do is jump off and land in the water jump off and land in the water jump off and land in the water yes i did it i can't believe i just did that wow i'm actually quite impressed that you didn't fall to your death a hundred blocks from the air about time he starts showing me a little respect maybe i'm not so bad at parkour after all no time to worry about that though i need to make more jumps that'll be impossible for him to land aha i got it the whole reason i got arrested was because i used an illegal diagonal jump to level up quickly back in parkour city i know that diagonal jumps are pretty much outlawed everywhere what if i built a diagonal jump for him to complete i know he's capable of landing the jump but i know it would definitely get him into some trouble and also the rules of the game says we cannot give the exact same jumps of our opponents so there's no way he could do this to me i need to act before he thinks of this a singular diagonal two block jump i'm insulted is this competition some kind of joke to you kid i know my victory here is inevitable but at least try to put up a fight hey whoa 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 stop it there brother you and i know very well that diagonal jumps are forbidden truly i should disqualify you right now however since you are my brother and i am choosing to show mercy and only remove one of your lives you are now down to your last life keep up the good work plaza this isn't fair at all i mean you completed the jump and as a parkour god you definitely knew diagonal jumps are forbidden so i'd say it's definitely fair man i can't believe that worked now that he has only one life left and i have two this is a huge advantage for me if i can make him do something impossible or illegal without him noticing i can actually win this that's it plaza you fooled me and embarrassed me in front of my brothers i will now have zero mercy for you going forward not just one jump not two jumps but three jumps for you here plaza back to back neos i know you are not capable of such a thing it would be impossible for a regular civilian like you to keep up such a good momentum what is he making me do is this even possible to do hey parkour gods is this allowed it is yes as long as every jump in the course is possible anything is allowed in a parkour battle this test is not meant to be an easy one plaza we are challenging you in every aspect of parkour and your character crap i thought i could somehow get out of this but it doesn't look like i can well i would just try my best and see what happens are you ready to suffer plaza i did say i will have zero mercy for you going forward i will keep my word moving on in this battle yeah he did mention that you know by the looks of it this course seems somewhat similar to the course i did back in the parkour prison course the neo jumps the four block jumps this is also familiar if i was able to complete everything so far then i have a good shot completing this too i think well here goes nothing the first part is a neo jump just go in the corner like the parkour god did in that one race and jump no both of you only have one remaining life this is the most intense parkour duel i've ever seen plaza let's see what it takes to come out victorious in this parkour duel so we can bring you to the great tower of ravioli and begin your transformation into becoming a parkour god i wonder why the parkour god sounds so confident in my abilities when all of his brothers doubt me so much i really don't know if i have what it takes to win this duel after all i'm just a regular citizen from parkour city who got arrested and now somehow i'm here battling park war gods what a crazy time it is all right kid i knew you didn't have what it takes to complete the last jump i made for you but now it's your turn and quit going so easy on me throw the hardest jump you can think of my way and i will complete it without batting an eye all right wait he may have just revealed something crucial to me i know he's extremely good at landing complex jumps so what if i go the opposite direction what if i make something too easy for him to confuse him i doubt a parkour god spends a lot of time practicing a basic one block jump could that possibly work or am i just being stupid well i would make an absolute fool of myself building such a simple jump it's really the only tactic i feel like i can try what is plaza doing does he really think this is going to work maybe he has a full bulletproof plan in mind that is making him do this i don't think this is the smartest move plaza but my faith relies within you are you serious i cannot believe my brother laguanda brought this absolute fool to parkour heaven whatever potential my dear brother thinks he saw in this 
jump was absolutely a misunderstanding. Build a one block jump when you have one life remaining in a parkour duel? Absolutely idiotic. Well, at least I don't have to worry about making a fool out of myself. I've got this in the bag. You're an idiot, Plaza. I just want to let you know before I make this jump. What have I done? Maybe he's right. I'm such a fool. This wasn't the best plan I thought of. It was the first thing I can think of. That's all. Oh, well, I think I'm done here. All my hard work of getting to parkour heaven will now be over. He's going to land this jump and I'm going to lose this competition and spend the rest of my days rotting in parkour prison. Way to go, Plaza. And easy. What? There's no way. There's no way that worked. I did it. I beat a parkour god in a parkour duel. How did that just happen? Well, it looks like Plaza is declared the winner of parkour battle. Lasagna, you are the loser of this parkour battle. Even though I am happy that Plaza has won this battle, I am extremely disappointed in you for losing such an easy jump. Are you kidding me? He cheated. What? How? I don't know how you did it, but you definitely aren't fit to be a parkour god. You're not even named after a pasta. I thought it was mastery of parkour and dedication to the craft that allows someone to become a parkour god. Not being named after pasta. Plaza's right, you know. Congratulations again, Plaza. However, your work is not done. My other brother, LaShonda, now has a challenge for you. Yeah, make this jump. There's no way this is all he wants me to do. Something's up. Is it a barrier block? Am I going to run head first into a barrier block and fall down to parkour prison? What's going on here? The last challenge was so difficult, and I'm sure this one is going to be even worse. You know what? I have no choice but to go for it. I can't just give up here. Congratulations, Plaza. You have successfully completed both of my brother's challenges. Follow us to the Great Tower Ravioli, and we will complete your transformation into becoming a parkour god. And you would take your rightfully earned place as my new brother. I can't believe this. I made it. I actually made it. My life has completely changed in the last day. Just yesterday, I was a parkour citizen dreaming of a way out. And since I was able to escape the hardest parkour course in the world to get out of prison, now I've successfully completed two challenges given to me by parkour gods. And now I'll become one of them. This is a dream come true. It really shows you a lot of grit and determination can do. Follow me, Plaza. Step into this portal with my brothers and I. You'll be instantly be teleported to the Great Tower Ravioli. I will see you soon, my friend. Man, I'm so ready for this. Well, this is it. Let's go inside and see what awaits behind this portal. Whoa, this place looks massive. Everything seems so detailed and perfect. Plaza, your transformation will now begin. From ashes, you will be reborn. Your new identity as a parkour god will include incredible amounts of responsibility and constant accountability for the smallest of actions. You will join my brothers and I in parkour heaven, watching the city below, dictating the land for millennials to come. Today will mark the day that your life has changed forever. Are you ready, Plaza? <sighs> I'm ready. I feel different. I feel alive, powerful, and unstoppable. You are now one of us. I feel it is important we make the city a safer, more livable place. The citizens below us are suffering on a daily, clinging onto survival by a threat. Change must be made. Let us begin by freeing all of those wrongly sent to parkour prison. Today marks a new day into the history of parkour civilization. A day that brings peace and prosperity to all. Let's get to work. My new brothers and I quickly got to work. We had a plan. It began by returning to parkour prison and freeing all innocent inmates, allowing them to return to their loved ones and return to the lives they were so wrongfully ripped from them. After that, we went door to door in Parkour City, delivering tons of food and supplies to all the residents. We all banished the rule that required citizens to complete daily jumps, making the city safe and a stress-free place for all the inhabitants. And finally, we supplied everyone with a hundred more lives. Falling to their dead due to a simple mistake would no longer be a fear by any citizen in Parkour City. This was the new beginning of a new chapter. Chapter, a safe and fair chapter. A chapter that gives everyone an equal shot at survival and success. Okay, this should be the last person I'll be helping in Parkour City. I'm hoping they would understand that I'm only here to help them. Hi, I, I can't believe you're here. It's an honor to meet you. Hello, I'm here to give you all this food and make sure that you are safe and healthy in this environment. Oh yes, thank you so much. You have been such a good help and blessing to the city. You are honestly the kindest and most gentlest parkour god ever. I appreciate the compliment. I have to get back to Parkour Heaven to talk about the future accomplishments that we could do for Parkour City. But I'm very happy that I could help you. Okay, sounds good. 
good. You get on your way now. Let me know if you need any help with anything. Okay, sounds good. Bye-bye. Well, I am officially a parkour god living in the parkour heavens. It was an incredible journey, beginning with getting locked up in parkour prison and then completing a parkour course that nobody has ever completed in parkour prison and then beating a parkour god in a parkour battle. Oh, and how can I forget the one block jump? Who knew I could do that? But I only have one goal since I'm a parkour god and that is to help every person I can. I truly think the future of parkour civilization is a bright one.